Uh, Rudy, tell me, what, what got you into life sciences? Why, 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 did you, um, why did you decide to pursue your PhD? Oh, yeah, sure. So uh, even before that, uh, I was an electrical engineer, um, and um, I worked at a company called Advanced Bionics, and they were actually making implantable electronics. So you have to, obviously in a company like that, you have to know both engineering and biology. And I, and I suddenly, you know, I knew about bioengineering before. People, you know, had been doing it for a long time, but I got to see the nuts and bolts of what was actually uh, going on. And um, it's interesting now that I think about it more, the CEO of Advanced Bionics at the time, his name was Jeffrey Greiner. It still is Jeffrey Greiner. Um, I, hope, I hope he's still around. Um, but he was saying, hey guys, hurry up. Even this was kind of in jest, like, hurry up. They're gonna, there's gonna be a biological solution to all these problems pretty soon. And so, you know, it was a joke. And, uh, but actually, he's right. Uh, and now it's sort of the time where you're seeing, you know, companies that are actually like, you know, curing diseases, not just putting, uh, you know, palpatives on or uh, even things like cochlear implants, which were cool. They actually do restore hearing, but it's like, you know, if it's a genetic issue, the, the child's still going to be deaf. So they're now at a point where they can fix the whole thing with, with the genome. And then there's other companies that are doing other things, not directly genome related with cell therapy or other types of things. And so I don't know too much about it. I know what I know from reading about it. And I'm just kind of interested to see what the startup companies and not even startup companies, even kind of larger companies uh, are doing in that space. Awesome. Well, Rudy, we're glad you're out there, and uh, thank you for coming out to the event today. We thank really you. appreciate it.